What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. Today I wanna to share with you guys a brand new motor that I just got in for testing. I just got it installed on a quad. They look absolutely fantastic. These have gotta be the most beautiful motors I have ever seen. Anyway, today the motor I wanna share with you is a Brother Hobby R6 Returner 2207 1750 KV, a 6S rated racing motor. Now, these motors are actually custom manufactured from Brother Hobby and they're currently only sold on Amazon. I know some of you guys might be a little bit concerned about buying FPV products on Amazon, but it's the kind of thing where you have to understand where you're buying from on Amazon. Sometimes you're buying from, you know, not so reputable people. Sometimes you're buying from really reputable, pe reputable people. So in this particular case, I know the seller. I fully trust the seller. So if you click that link down below for these, know that you're buying from a reputable place, know that you're buying legit products and you're getting the same thing that I'm getting here. So just throwing that out there, it's always good to be a little bit cautious on buying things on Amazon or um, you know Alibaba or other sort of websites where they can be sold by different sellers. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, I know the person who ordered these fully trust this product and everything I share with you here today will be the same as you'd get if you order them yourselves. And again, that link of your curse will be down below. So anyway, what makes these motors special? Well, first off, they're straight gorgeous. This is not unique to these particular manufactured motors. You can buy other Brother Hobby motors that have the same look to them, but man, it just, I love the way this purple and gold kind of melded rainbow sort of look goes. It just looks so sharp when you get it on a quad. Just really, real big fan of that. Um, other things you'll notice is it does have a titanium shaft, a hollow shaft at that. So very nice construction there, lightweight, very strong, um, good overall thing. You'll also notice that on top of the motors, it has these teeth on the top. Just give you a little extra bit of bite on top of the prop. Uh, make sure you're not gonna get loose as you hit things as you're going around the track. So I like to see that little touch. Anyway, the really big thing that you're adding with this particular uh, motor is it has upgraded bearings, Japanese EZO bearings. And the idea there is basically with the bigger bearings, you're gonna have a motor that's gonna run cooler and it's gonna run smoother. It should wind up creating less noise in the system, result in better video, result in easier tuning, result in less filtering. And anyway, that's really the theory behind these motors. So you're getting the same sort of brother hobby performance you get from other motors. You know, in particular, the, the Hyperlite 2207, the Hyperlite 225, both very, very popular Brother Hobby manufactured motors. You're getting something very similar to that, but with an upgraded bearing that should run smoother. It should have upgraded material, should be very, very durable. I haven't put it out there. I haven't taken it out to fly it yet, but that's the theory behind these particular motors. So the thing you gotta be, you know, the, the thing you have to keep in mind when you look at these motors and what you might be missing, if you were to go with these versus going with the Hyperlite uh, 2207 1722 kV motors is that the hyperlights are actually slightly slightly lighter so I did put these on my scale as I set it down and I weighed it these ones here with the full size length wires come in at 33.1 grams if I put the same hyperlight 2207 motors that I've also flown quite a bit it actually comes in at about 22.1 so you're looking at about a one gram difference in weight um, even though the length of wire is exactly the same so you're definitely giving up a little bit of that weight savings, but in theory, you should be getting slightly more power, um, slightly more efficiency. It should be running cleaner. So it may end up making up for it on your quads. Plus, they just look so damn good. So I'm a real big fan of how these things look, if you haven't noticed. Me personally, I don't read too much into 1750 KV versus 1722 KV. I think a lot of that's done kind of for marketing purposes. And for all I know, there'll be a slight increase in KV here, slight decrease in KV there. Um, I expect something to be relatively similar performance wise. All right, so I've actually gone through and taken a set of these motors and got them set up here on a racing build. This particular build here is very, very similar to my current main primary racing build that I've been flying uh, for the last well, I guess since International Open. This build here, what I'm running on, obviously you see these gorgeous, gorgeous motors. Absolutely love the way they look, especially when it's actually put together on a quad. For the ESC, I'm actually running the Hobbywing G2 45 amp 6S ESC 4-in-1. For the flight controller, I'm rubbing my absolute favorite flight controller, the Pyro Drone Hyperlite F4 OSD. I have my trusty Unify on top. In this particular build, I'm a real big fan of using MMCX, and that's because I'm skipping the entire SMA. 
So without the SMA, I can actually get the Axie, which goes directly into my canopy here, connects directly into the VTX, saves a little bit of weight, and then the MMCX just allows me to have reliability as I'm swapping between right-hand and left-hand antennas, since it's actually plugging it and pulling out of the VTX. Next up, the uh, the camera. I'm actually running a Runcam Racer camera. So really big fan of this camera that gives a great picture, very similar to the Foxier Predator V2 that I've been running for a while. But it doesn't have the same sort of flaring issues, the same sort of lens flares, and it just gives an overall nicer picture and more scenarios for me. So I've been a really big fan of this. I haven't been running it for long, but so far it's been working out pretty well. So anyway, I put this thing on the scales with these heavier motors here. It is coming in at about 287 grams all up weight with the prop nuts, with this uh, battery pad on the bottom, with the battery strap on top, with my crossfire antenna, all that 287 grams. So a little bit heavier than I'm used to on my racing builds, but still hopefully it's light enough that it's gonna perform really well. But we're gonna go and take this thing out to the field and, and see how it does. So for comparison's sake, I'm gonna be comparing it here. This is actually my current primary favorite racing quad. This is the quad that I use at International Open. This is the quad that got me number five qualifying at International Open. So it's really a screamer. Um, maybe not the highest pace quad you can have, but it certainly performed well for me. So. It's the exact same quad that we're seeing here with the new 2207 motors, except this is actually running 2205 Hyperlites. So these motors here, they cost only $13.99, real bargains. Um, that's worth checking out, but otherwise it's the exact same setup, except instead for the camera, I'm actually running a Runcam Sparrow 2, very similar to the Racer, um, but it has a little bit less camera protection. Other than that, everything's identical. The big difference is this thing weighs in at 257 grams, and I found that for me, flying really light quads, they just control so much better, and that really is what helped me save seconds around that track at International Open. Now lastly, the quad I really wanna compare this thing to is this one here. This used to be my old trusty racer. I ran this one for about two or three months. If you were watching my flights from Flight Fest, that was all with this guy right here, at least when I started getting faster. Now, the, the key thing here is again, we're running a very similar setup. The ESC is actually an Acon uh, 35 amp V2 the same flight controller, the same Unify, um, except we're using an SMA connection here. And the big difference for this one, in addition to having the, uh, in addition to having the Foxy or Predator V2 that I obviously was a big fan of, the motors here, they're 2207 Hyperlite Brother Hobby motors. So very, very similar motors without the upgraded bearings, uh, with a little bit less protection, but that one gram savings. So I'm really curious to see how does this perform with 2207, very similar Brother Hobby motors to this one here with the brand new Brother Hobby R6 2207-1750KV motors. I'm really looking forward to getting these things out on the track and trying them. The one disadvantage here is this thing is definitely a strong, beefy, tanky quad. Um, sounds sort of crazy to talk about now, but it weighs in at 310 grams, which for me is a big, heavy quad. This thing has been through a lot. It actually has five millimeter arms. I've yet to break the five millimeter arms on this thing. The top plate is really strong. The bottom plate is really strong. Just this thing really, really takes a beating. Really big fan of the durability, um, but I have moved to lighter quads just because it's a little bit higher to fly this thing around at the speeds I like to in the, in the manner that I like to. So that's why I ended up switching over to the 2205s. So anyway, Real quick, the things you have to know, if you wanna buy these motors, you have to buy them on Amazon. They cost $24 a piece, but they come with prime shipping, free shipping, regardless of how many you order. You get them in just two days, um, and it's the only place to currently get them. So we're gonna take this thing out to the field, see how they perform, but wanted to share that with you. 24 bucks for the most beautiful motors you've probably ever seen. Great Brother Hobby construction. And now all that's left is to take them to the field, see how they perform. Let's go check it out and uh, see how she does. All right, guys, I got the track set up behind me. The sun is fast going down, so I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. First goal here, we wanna test out that new build, see how those new motors work. So my goal is I'm gonna put up my standard racing quad, run a couple batteries through that, learn the track, try to keep it slow, and then switch to the other quad and just see what differences I notice, give you my first impressions, then try to get a bit faster, let you know how it feels then, which one do I prefer, do I notice it, just that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, don't wanna waste any time. The sun's going down, like I said, let's get to it. Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Got in your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just get a place together? Morning's in our own bed So much better Balconies and back what you want? Why don't we just get a place together? 
two batteries through that first quad and just, man, every time I fly, it just reminds me why I love that quad so much. It just feels so good in the turns, turns so well. The, run, the one area where it definitely struggles though is in that corkscrew, just pulling out of that first turn. It feels really underpowered there. So let's see if throwing on the 2207s actually makes a difference. So first goal here, just learn this quad is different than I'm used to. Make sure I'm not gonna fly too fast, too out of control. After a couple of batteries, hope I can let it rip and just see how it does in comparison. Why don't we just get a place together? Go figure, one battery in, I couldn't quite control myself. I didn't have to keep it too too light and I just went for it. Just the sound's a little bit different. You can tell there's more power and where I really, really notice it is that spot that I said. In that course, when I do that first maneuver, it just has so much more power to keep that line. Now we just gotta get used to it and I feel like tighten that up a bit, but man, I really like the way that flies. I'm kind of surprised I liked it so much. I could tell there's a little bit more weight, but man, it's not even that much of a deal. So man, first impression, first flight maiden. Damn, does that fly good. feels really weird because I don't usually have this sort of reaction to flying motors for the first time, but these may be my absolute favorite motors I've ever flown. They just, they feel so good. I have more power. I don't notice the weight that much. The power's probably making up for it. As I'm going faster and faster, the corkscrew doesn't feel quite as easy as I thought, but it's still so much better than the 2205. So, wow, it really feels good. Yeah, I've, I've never flown a motor and thought, man, this might be the best motor I've ever flown. It's always been like, yeah, I think I like that. Let's fly it some more, but... Man, this is a great first impression. So I'm gonna fly through one more pack and I'm actually gonna switch over to my Hyperlite 2207s on my 310 gram build. See how that fails in comparison because I flew that thing for months and it did not feel like this.
right, so obviously I was running a different camera angle on there. It's kind of hard to tell when you switch between cameras. So that was with the Foxier Predator V2 uh, versus the other quad was running the Run Cam Racer. So definitely a different camera angle, different feel to it there. I was probably doing more throttle on that run there, but I definitely noted that, noticed that added weight. Just doing that course through did not feel right at all. Um, I was going real fast because there's lots and lots of throttle, lots of camera angle, but it just, it didn't have that same snappiness. It didn't feel the same, didn't feel as smooth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to that one, the 227 Brother Hobby 1750 KV motors. And I'm just going to crank that camera angle up a little bit, see if that gives a more direct comparison and see how I like that. So let's give that a shot. Look guys, this has been real, real simple for me. I've never had such control, such power, just at will. The way this thing controls, just I've never felt it in a quad before. So these are absolutely 100% my new favorite motors. I'm actually kind of pissed that it's one week before the regional final in Chicago for me and, ah, shoot, less than one week. And I gotta buy all new motors. I just, I don't wanna fly the other ones anymore. Just damn it. Man, absolutely, these are the best motors I've ever flown. I can't recommend them enough. You wanna fly the best motors I've ever flown, these are it. You know, maybe there's something else out there that's better, but I have not flown it yet. I am super impressed. Way to go, these things fly amazing. Super smooth, super powerful, feels great, great control. Just, man, I'm in love. So, I haven't. I can't speak to durability. I haven't actually crashed them yet. If they control that well, I haven't crashed, even going at pretty good speed, so. Man, wow. I, guys, what can I say? Links down below, check it out if you want. They perform great, I can't recommend it enough. Josh, nicely done. Brother Hobby, nicely done. Way to go, guys. I'm a big, big fan. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode. I'm gonna leave it there, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope you find it helpful. Hopefully you like these motors. Let me know if you ever tried them before. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this, and as always, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace!